Good morning, my beautiful internet friends. I have been sitting here on this couch for like an hour and a half, telling myself to get to work, telling myself to do things, telling myself to be productive, and I've done none of those things. I'm real sad, and I feel like I've lost the ability to distinguish between what is being overly worried, overly concerned, because things have happened before, and what's actually something not being right. First of all, a little bit of setup. This video was from yesterday afternoon. Excuse the stuffy nose and garbled voice and my wet dog look. It's a good look for me, isn't it? So today is day four of practicing my leg. Honestly though, check out the fact that I have like two legs, that's pretty cool. It feels horrible. I mean like really horrible, not good. And the problem is it's not just when I have the leg on, even just with the liner, it feels like really painful. <clears throat> I don't know what to do because that's not like a prosthetist issue because it's not even my leg put like the leg like this leg Itself pushing on it. It's anything on it really hurts and it's been a month now since surgery So what's going on guys? Like what's the tea? Isn't that what the cool kids say on my leg? This is my I smile so I don't look super worried face I am kind of concerned because it's like sharp pain. I feel like it shouldn't be sharp pain <laughs> So as you guys know, I picked up my new leg a few days ago. I got to bring it home to practice with for as long as I need to. It did not feel good there, but also like even putting the liner on is painful. So I don't think that the fit of the leg is terrible, if that makes sense. But last night I couldn't sleep. And so I got up and I practiced with my leg for about 15, 20 minutes. I walked back and forth a lot. And then I also just did like a mini version of a workout. I like sat on the floor and just did like crunches and sit-ups and stuff like that. So it wasn't like I was doing anything that was really strenuous on my leg. And I woke up this morning, well, side note, that was painful, but like I pushed through. I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna do this for 15 minutes. It'll be fine. I woke up this morning and my leg hurt and is like swollen and it's not supposed to feel like that. And we're now four weeks past surgery, which is cool. So I called my prosthetist and then I called my doctor and I'm waiting on a call back from my doctor. I just wanna learn to walk. <laughs> the victim-y part of me is like, can't anything just be simple? I know this is like how the road goes, but I, the last thing I wanna freaking do is drive to Denver for one more doctor's appointment. I can't tell you how much I don't wanna do that. Like I feel like it's just one more roadblock after another roadblock after another roadblock and I am so real tired waiting on a call back from my doctor then i'll set up an appointment then we'll go see him then we'll go see what's wrong and until then i don't think i'll use it unless he tells me otherwise because it hurts it like is not uncomfortable it hurts i get to learn a lot about patients that's a positive i say dripping with sarcasm considering the fact that i'm being thoroughly unproductive and i'm sad and hurting a lot i figure we'll use the hurting a lot to my advantage and i'm gonna try out Got this off of Amazon, not remotely sponsored. This is the Electronic Pulse Massager. What? A liquid crystal display? So I'm gonna see if I can hook this up and make it work. Maybe it'll help. Let's give this a shot. Look what we have here. So I think these are the electrodes, the crystal LCD display they're bragging about. It's really nice that they give you batteries. Otherwise, I would have had to wait until I went to the store to get some. Should we put this there? It looks like product placement if I leave it there. So I chose this one off of Amazon because it was reasonably, it was reasonably placed, reasonab <clears throat> reasonably priced. I'm struggling with that word today. And had some good reviews. <laughs> this is the kind of day that we're having. I just want to open the bag and I, I tear the bag. Poor, poor Jordan. So my family has this joke, okay? Um, and please know this is a joke as I struggle to open this bag. If I'm having a hard time, like they'll make fun of me, right? If I'm having like a, a pity party, they'll be like, poor, poor Jordan. So now I require them to say, it. it's like music to my ears. That's right, pity me. I'm just kidding, please don't. Not useful, not useful, not useful, not useful, not useful. What are you? You might be useful. I feel like I'm not skilled enough. Like I haven't reached the adulting level to be trusted to actually put this together and put it on my body, but that's what we're gonna do. Ugh! I'm a weakling. Ta-da! I did something. All right, check out that. Oh, why did it go off? Okay, no, we're good. I'm legitimately a little bit freaked out about this, guys. Here's the problem, guys. I have an option for a uh, foot. That's awkward. Oh, I think I feel something. It's definitely not painful, but it's weird. Shall we turn up the intensity? Ah, it feels like electricity. I guess that makes sense. It almost feels like, like pinching. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Like tiny, tiny little pinches. Like seriously, it's not painful. Okay, so the idea is to attach it like across where you feel pain. So I put these in the wrong place. Turn it off first, kids. Don't go playing with electricity while it's on. Uh, I was told that it would help with like phantom pain because it kind of like scrambles the signals for lack of a better description. Random fun story. I was sitting here for like 10 minutes. I pressed a couple buttons after I turned the camera off and I was like, huh, I really don't feel anything. Maybe I should turn the intensity up. And so I did. I didn't feel anything. So I turned it up and I didn't feel anything. It's been off. It was like on the wrong channel. It was like I 
press the buttons and I switch the channel and it wasn't doing anything. So that was a good, that was a good use of my 10 minutes. All right, so my leg is still baking. It's not out of the oven just yet, but I wanted to talk a little bit about why I got a TENS unit. So my friend Adam told me before I even had amputation surgery that his TENS unit really helped him with phantom pain post-surgery. So I was going to get one right after surgery and then I ended up not being able to, but I ended up getting one now. Now my phantom pain is pretty much under control, but I have normal pain and I have phantom pain some nights. And so I figured, you know what, I'll just try it for kind of everything. But I know a couple people on Instagram were asking me about why I actually had a TENS unit. And so it's not specifically for phantom pain, but I know a lot of amputees who definitely help with that. Also, these are pretty common devices. I'm wondering, have you guys ever used one? Did you like them? Did you find any benefit? Let me know in the comment section. And off. All right, so I made it to 40 minutes. And guys, that was really interesting. Feels all right. I can tell you for sure it didn't make it worse. Immediate reactions, I feel like it was, if nothing else, distracting from the pain. The soreness and like tenderness I have around specific spots that were hurting seems to be gone a little bit. It still hurts, it's not like a magical fix, but also I didn't turn it up super high, so I'm gonna try it out again over the next couple days and I'll definitely update you guys. If you're thinking about getting a TENS unit, I would recommend this. It works really well, it was super easy to use, fairly simple to set up, probably easier if you're not, you know, having a blonde moment like I was all day today. I'm gonna go attend to this cold and this cough. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's really like kicking up a little bit and I should probably take care of that. So I love you guys, I'm thinking about you and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys. Have heard from the sky.